In this video, you will learn what is solid modeling in CAD, how it's used and how you can benefit from it. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling. Starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and tangency. Through hands-on exercises, you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally, Additionally, you will get a mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final, there is a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all the learnings. So enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface modeling with plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box next to the video and now let's dive in into this tutorial. Let's just cover a basic what is solid modeling because you will always see when you want to learn plasticity, when you do some research about CAD, you will always see this distinguishing between solid modeling, surface modeling. So in solid modeling, we have robust and accurate models. So this is essential for designs required accurate volume, mass, and structural integrity. So as you see here, best example, a motor block. So a motor block, we don't care about aesthetics. This is absolute pure functional and we have to know the volume and the mass and everything must be super precise so it's efficient. And like every line, everything, what we see here has a purpose. And then also a different prime examples, for example, again, an, an aerospace engine, right? So everything has to be super precise. You, you, it has to be manufactured. We, we need accurate volumes and all that kind of stuff. So this is needed for the manufacturing process because it provides necessary information for processes like 3D printing, CNC uh, machining, etc. So again, when you work with solid modeling, you mostly have a lot of con control over, pr over precision, over dimensions. And this is yeah for CNC, 3D printing and other manufacturing processes. Again, I'm not from that field, so I might say a lot of things not super accurate and correctly. So if you're if you're watching and, and, and thinking, oh, yeah, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about and blah, blah then yeah, please feel free to correct me. <clears throat> but this is just in the very basic terms. And also solid modeling is used for precise structural design. So it's essential for designs required accurate volume mass and structural integrity. I think I made here a little mistake, but doesn't matter. So when you also have solid modeling again, you can do a lot of analytics with it or tests for how strong is this part. So as you see here, so of course we can't do this in plasticity. It's, it's also not for that. But if you go to in, into this professional manufacturing um, software, there's a lot of analysis and, and, and testing and all that kind of stuff. But also, solid modeling is very often used in the artist space application, which is so, so now what I will show you different from what I just showed you. So it's, it's used for creating simple sci-fi and concept designs, allowing for quick visualization and iteration. So solid modeling. So that was the first. So that was the point of plasticity in the first place before people started to, to use it so much for surface modeling. But you can, with surface modeling, create amazing sci-fi concept designs and like those bulky, boxy kind of shapes because you can, with solid modeling, just work so fast with booleans and just do... So especially in, in sci-fi, 98% of all sci-fi designs are made, so if they are made with NURBS and CAD modeling, they are made with solid modeling because yeah, it's extremely easy. 
you literally just need one day, a few tutorials or just one course, and then you can basically create almost any shape and form. So it's very simple. It's very beginner friendly. It's you basically don't have to learn anything. And yeah, just a few basics and you can create amazing uh, designs. So that's fun and all, but it's not what I love doing the most. Why? Because again, it's just too easy. It gets very quickly boring and it doesn't have a real world use case. So for that, we have surface modeling. So let's dive in in the next module about surface modeling. And if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling, check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner. So sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.